In this video, I'm going to show you some important settings for a Google form. So if you haven't already created a form, you can check out this video on the top right, which will show you how to create one. And once you've created it, then you can just come to this page by searching forms.google.com and then opening the form whose settings you'll want to change. So for now, I'll just start with a blank form. So here I have my form. And now I'll go to the settings page, which is over here. So as you can see, they have many settings over here. But now I'll show you the important ones. So the first few settings are related to the email addresses of the person submitting the form. So you can decide if you want to collect the email address. So to do this, just click on this button next to responses. And the first option is collect email addresses. And if you click on this box, you'll get three options. You can decide if you do not want to collect the email address, if you want verified email addresses. So this means that the person responding will have to sign into Google. And otherwise, you can just put responder input. So over here, the respondent will just have to type in their email ID. So now you can select whichever option you want. Then the next setting is related to this. And it's sending a copy of the response to the respondent. So we can only do this if we collect the email address and it's this setting right below. So if we want to enable it, just click on this box and here we have three options, off, when requested or always. So if we just keep it on always, then after a person has submitted a form, a copy will be emailed to them. Then the third setting, again related to emails, is limiting a person to one response. So for this, we'll require them to sign in and it's this option, which is over here. So now if I enable it, then a person can only submit the form once with their given email ID. So these were the settings related to emails. And now let's move on. Now the next setting is changing the confirmation message after a person has submitted the form. So next to presentation, if we click on this button, then here you'll find an option called confirmation message. So you can just edit this by clicking on edit. And this is the message a person will get when they submit the form. So if you just want to say congrats, you can type that in and click on save. So now once a person has submitted the form, they'll get this message that's here. Then the next setting is allowing others to see a summary of all the responses. So it's this option that's here, view result summary. And now if you enable it, then once a person has submitted the form, they'll get an option to see all the previous responses and get a summary of that. Now the next setting is if you want to make your form a quiz. So it's the first option that's here. And if you enable it, you can see that there are many options. So I've made a detailed video on this of how to make an auto grading quiz. But for now, I'll quickly show you the important settings. So once you've enabled this, then you can decide how many points should be given for each question. So it's the last option over here. You can just change the number of points. So now it's 10. Then you can decide if you want to show the correct answers or the points for each question. And you can also decide when you want to release grades. So they have two options. First is immediately. So in this, once a person submits, then they'll get their grades. And the second option allows you to manually go through the responses and then release the grades. So these were the settings related to a quiz. And there's one more setting which helps if you have a quiz. And that's shuffling the question order. So if you scroll down and then click on this box next to presentation, here you'll find this option that's shuffle question order. And if you enable it, then each person filling in the form will have the questions in a different order. So this is useful for quizzes if you want to prevent cheating and just make sure that people have different questions on the screen at a certain time, then you can enable this option. So these are the settings which I feel everyone should know when they're creating a Google form. And if you want to know how to share the responses of a form with others, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.